My Bible reading uh, schedule takes me through 2 Samuel chapter 1, Psalm 140, and Matthew chapter 13. And Matthew chapter 13 is a particularly challenging uh, chapter as it deals with parables of the kingdom. And in chapter 13, uh, verse uh, 51 to 52 are a couple of, of scriptures that I think are really important for us today, challenging to us in terms of our own love for the word of God. Here's what Matthew chapter 13, 51 and 52 say. Jesus said to them, have you understood these things? They said to him, yes, Lord. Then he said to them, therefore, every scribe instructed concerning the kingdom of heaven is like a householder who brings out of his treasure things new and old. Um, there is so much in these uh, in this chapter of, of the parables to grasp. Uh, I think the basic thing is that they are about the kingdom and have to do with the kingdom of the Lord. I'm I'm not all that confident, I guess, as I read this one. I, when I, I read through those parables and uh, think about them, and I think, boy, there's a, a lot there, and I'm mulling all that over in my mind. And the disciples said, yes, Lord, we, we understand all this. I'm not all that sure, I guess, that they understood it. But assuming they did get it, they had an advantage over the multitudes who are so much like people today. Um, they hear the word, but they go away not understanding and, and really maybe not even caring all that much about what what they've been told. <clears throat> I think the main point here is that now that the disciples have been instructed, they're responsible to bring forth their understanding to other people. Not, not unlike us today, we are disciples. And so it's important that we understand the word I mean, we gain that understanding by spending time meditating, uh, reading, all those kinds of things, so that we have a good idea of what the Scripture is saying. Uh, there's an important thought here, I think, about this word treasure. The challenge for the scribe is to have that kind of regard for the Word of God, that he treasures it. Those who, those who teach the Word of God should should be well versed in what the Bible says and be able to communicate that knowledge uh, to the people that they are responsible for. Um, I, I just think that it's so important that we don't lightly regard the Word of God, but that we actually treasure it as the parable uh, in the parable of the pearl of great price. The challenge for, I, well, for me personally, uh, is to question my own love for the Word of God. I say I love it, and I do. Do I treasure it? Do my actions reflect that kind of devotion to the Word of God? It's really an important an important question for us all to answer. Uh, I do study. I do have my daily devotions. But do I treasure the Word of God? Do I deem it more necessary than my daily food? It's really serious when we think about those things. So my, my challenge for us today, my, my thought for us today, is that we would treasure the Word of God. How important it is. How precious it is. How enlightening. Your word, David says, is a lamp to my feet, a light to my path. And it is it is that word of God, this that we have in our Bible, that helps us to walk the walk, to live the life, to bring satisfaction, fulfillment to our hearts and lives, because feeding upon the word of God nourishes our soul and helps us go through the daily stuff that we go through. I pray that you will treasure the word of God and that it'll be a blessing to you today. Amen. May the Lord richly bless you.